Hello friends, Sarah with Family Tech and in addition to my regular Thursday videos, I'm going to send out shorts that have various tech news segments, so definitely check out my shorts. And then also, I will release videos from time to time about scams or viruses or um, compromises that are happening right now. So. I want to let you know about this phishing email that my sister was just recently sent. I've seen it a lot on my emails as well, so I just want to make sure you guys know about this email so when it comes across your inbox, you are prepared and you don't fall for the scam. So stay tuned after the intro for what it is and what to do about it. Hello friends, I'm Sarah Kimmel, your friendly neighborhood tech expert. I've been an IT manager for over 19 years, supporting hundreds of small to medium-sized businesses. I'm also a mom to a tween and teen with over 50 connected devices in my home. I break down the tech talk to help you understand and manage the technology in your home. You can find me helping families with tech problems on TV news, podcasts, Instagram, Facebook, and my website, familytechzone.com. All right, welcome back. So. The email I'm talking about is a phishing email, and I'll read some of the text, and like I said, I've seen this email um, in my own inbox in different wording. So this one that came to my sister uh, was talking about, your recent renewal details are here. This is, thank you for choosing Geek Squad again. Um, thanks for subscribing. You're renewed for the next three years. Um, we've charged you $380 for this renewal and here's your ID and if you have any questions this is the phone number and um, the working days you can check out this email right here so I've seen this in other forms you know it'll say hey your Amazon renewal or your Adobe renewal any kind of subscription they're going to say oh thanks for renewing your services with us here is the amount and here is a phone number to call because you see that and you're like oh my gosh I've been charged $380? I don't want a $300, $80 charge. I didn't approve this, so you call the number. What they're going to do when you call is ask you to verify either your bank account information or your credit card information, and then you have now just given the scammers your credit card information. Because, you know, they have to get this information so they can verify if this is actually the person who has the subscription. But they're really not doing that, they're just stealing your information. So this is a different kind of phishing email. Um, and the reason it gets past spam filters is there's no links in it, so you're not clicking anything. It's just asking you to call a phone number. And so it's gonna get past your spam filters, it's gonna hit your regular email inbox, and you're gonna see it and freak out. So I remember the first time I came across it, I was like, what? I didn't you know, pay for this subscription. Did I pay for this subscription? I don't remember doing that. And so you kind of freak out a little bit. And that's what a lot of these phishing emails will do. So when you get, when you come across a phishing email, it's going to scare you. It's going to want you to react right away. Um, it might have some spelling mistakes. It might have some things that you know sound just a little bit off in the email. And so you want to make sure to you know take a breath. Anytime you get an email that makes your heart race or makes you you know freak out for a little bit, stop. Take a breath. Read through the email a few times. You know, if you want to independently go ahead and check your bank accounts, make sure there is not a charge pending on any of your bank accounts. If there's no charge pending, you're fine. Um, the email is just there to scare you and, um, you know, you can safely delete it and you're okay. So, um, you know, so don't respond to these emails. Definitely do not call this number. Never, ever, ever give your credit card number to anybody all over the phone, especially if you're going to give them all of the details of your credit card number as they were charging. You know, okay to, to give your credit card number to your doctor or uh, anything like that. If you have like initiated the call, you are paying for a service. Of course, feel free to give them your credit card number. You know that they are legit, but definitely don't ever verify your credit card information uh, or verify any information from somebody who calls you or from a phone number like this where it's not solicited. So um, 
just want to keep you guys safe. Remember, phishing emails can happen to anybody, so just be aware when those come across your inbox. So I just wanted to give you guys that warning, and I'll see you on Thursday. Bye.